am uh, I just feel the Holy Ghost up in here right now and I'm, I'm gonna sit down but this is Azusa and I, 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 I'm from the Church of God in Christ you know and Azusa means something you know most of all that I learned about church I learned from Church God in Christ and when you say Azusa I think of William Seymour and Charles Harrison Mason and I, and I, I was saved, Pastor Wine is my pastor, God, I've been saved, he was saved 23 years, I've been saved like a year old, longer than he has. I've been saved for 24 years come July, and when I was saved in 1969, it was a small little 35 seat storefront church. Uh -huh. And 35 was a crowd, you know. And, yes. And when I got saved, they did something that we call tarot. I know some of y'all don't know what tarrying means, all right? But they did something called tarry. You got saved, and then when you got saved, you, they said, come on, baby, now tarry for the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Oh, some of y'all remember. And I know that now we understand that we don't need to tarry any longer because the Holy Ghost is already here. But see, what I understand is they weren't tarrying for the Holy Ghost to come. You tarry till you got your mind on Jesus. Oh, yes. Back then they would put you on the altar and about four or five women dressed in white would get around you and say, Now say Jesus, say Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. Hey! And it didn't matter how young you were or what school you had to go to the next day. You stayed there and said, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Woo! Let me get to my point because I feel something happening here. But see, in that church, they knew how to praise God. They weren't playing with it. They weren't, they weren't taking no foolishness. They were praising God. Way before we found out these Greek and Hebrew words, they were praising God. It's good to know. It's good to have an understanding of what you're doing and why you're doing it. But way before they could understand with Shabak and Barak and Todan, Yadan, Halal and Tehillim and Tomar, before they knew all that, they was praising. Before they called it praise and worship, they called it devotional service. Hey! You wonder where it came from, I can tell you. And back then, you know, we know what Shabbat is now. That means to cry out, to let out a cry to God's greatness. You don't even need words, you just go, oh! But how many times have you gone past those storefront churches back in the day and saw one of the old mothers go, hey, hey! Barak, that means to weave back and forth in a drunken state as under the power of the Holy Ghost as though you're intoxicated because the power of God is so great upon you. How many times did you go to church and see them standing in a circle with one person in the middle just like... While some of y'all looking kind of crazy, you were in the middle of that circle. Y'all know about that. You were right there in the middle of that circle and your nose running and, and everything going everywhere, you know. What does it mean to halal? That means to celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. But can't nobody celebrate Jesus like the saints. Oh, you get that dance going. You know, you can kind of... Took you long enough, you practice in the mirror long enough to get that dance. You think you got the Holy Ghost in you, you practice to get that dance. Just right dipping. Now that you know. But back then I, I was a young musician pastor. And they made you play. Whether you knew how to play or not, I could play two notes on one hand and one on the other. But I found out something real early. If you learn how to play one devotional song, you can play them all. Because all of them had the same melody. 
And I used to think that they made those songs up until I had a chance to travel and found out saints all across the country were singing the same song. But they all had the same melody, Sister Demetrius. You know, in songs, no matter what hymn book you opened up, Sister Pound, no matter what you opened up, you couldn't find that hymn in the book. Because the Holy Ghost gave it to him back in Azusa. Uh-huh. You know, might not have been too prolific with the Bible, you know, present your body, living sacrifice, holy and something of God with your reasonable service, you know. But the Holy Ghost would give it to them in the words of a song. Back in Azusa, it was like, my whole body, belongs, my whole body, my whole body, my whole body. Now see, you couldn't find that in the hymn book. If you learn how to play that one song, uh, some of y'all ain't never heard that song before in your life. Sounds like, traveling shoes up. Oh! 